up party people and welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out some new makeup from the drugstore. So let's get into it. First up, I have an eyeshadow quad from Revlon and normally I kind of bypass Revlon. Like Revlon usually doesn't really excite me, but I feel like they've been making an effort lately. Like they've been trying, okay? Plus they're on the verge of bankruptcy if they haven't already filed for it. So I'm, I'm trying to help them out. And today I use the shade Stylish. So this is a really, really pretty warm tone, like coral undertone kind of palette. But when you look at this, like it just looks like buttery soft goodness. Like it just looks looks so high quality. It looks like something from Charlotte Tilbury. They just blend into each other and just meld and soften and smoke out so beautifully. Now, online they kind of advertise these as like creamy powder kind of hybrid. It's not a cream eyeshadow but it's so creamy that it almost doesn't feel like a powder kind of thing. Especially the shimmer. Like it's so creamy and buttery and soft that it almost kind of feels like a cream eyeshadow. It is the most beautiful like metallic copper and it's so enhancing of your eye color and it pairs so well with the other three in the palette. Like I feel like this is very well put together. So if you have blue eyes or if you like warm tone, like corally undertone palettes, then this one is banging. Moving on to eyeliner. So I got on Ulta the other day and saw that Kiko Milano had several new products. And I feel like Kiko gets overlooked a lot. Like no one ever talks about them. When I saw this lasting duo eye pencil on there, which is just a double ended eyeliner pencil, I was, automatically reminded of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner pencil with like the whole trend of putting a metallic champagne in your waterline was started from the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner duo pencil. So when I saw this and saw they had a black and a champagne one, yep, bells went off. So this is the shade six. It's probably called something else, but I'm gonna call it the shade six. It has a metallic champagne on one side and a matte black on the other. And I am pretty dang impressed by this. Now I can't say that I know how it wears or anything because this is the first impression, like this is the first time of applying it or wearing it. I'm confident enough in just what I've seen today that like I feel like it's one of those that once it sets, it does not budge. It's pigmented and it's easy to just kind of glide on and smoke out, but it does give you enough time. Like it's, it's forgiving enough to where you can work with it and like maneuver it a little bit. And the black doesn't look like a super like intense jet black, but when you put it on the eyes and you build it up, it definitely does give you that really intense like smoky kind of look. For my waterline, I put on the metallic champagne and I really like the idea of putting metallic champagne in your waterline because I do think that on a lot of people it really does enhance your eye color and just makes your eyes kind of pop and sparkle but for me for some reason I haven't found one that actually really shows up like you can see today like it doesn't really look like I did, like I did anything different but as far as the formula of both of these go I recommend this. So I have two more products from Kiko Milano. So I actually got two different mascaras and I have one on each eye. So on this side, I have the Kiko Luxurious Lashes Extra Volume Brush Mascara. And on the other side, I have the Kiko 30 Days Extension Daily Treatment Mascara. So I'm not sure if this one's trying to be like, a lash conditioning kind of treatment, like a lash growth serum mixed with a mascara. It could be, but that's not why I'm using it. I'm using it as a mascara. So the Luxurious Lash Mascara, which is the one in the white tube, definitely does give more volume as it says. It's called an extra volume mascara and it definitely does that. It really gives you that like nice smoky look. Like it just really defines your eye. I will say it's more on the dry side. So you have to be kind of careful with how much you apply because I feel like if you apply too much, it could start clumping or like flaking. I actually really enjoyed this one. Hopefully it doesn't flake or smudge or anything. Again, this is the first impression, but I mean, I feel pretty good about it so far. And the other one, the 30 Days Extension Mascara, it has a cone shape wand, kind of like the Benefit Bag Y'all Bang. And I really do feel like it just pushes your lashes up. It makes them look really long and just like literally like lash extensions. This one's dry too, but it's not as dry as the other formula. If you work with it too much and too long, then it could probably start clumping your lashes together and just kind of getting goopy. But I would say I like the Luxurious Lashes one better. Like I just really like the way my lashes look really full and fluffy and thick. It's enhanced my eyes so much like it's so jet black that it's made my eyes just like pops. Next up is a face primer. So I have the NYX Plump Right Back Electrolyte Primer. This is called a Plumping Serum Plus Primer. So it definitely does have that like skincare hybrid feel to it. And this is like a low key gripping primer. Like it's not super intense where you have a lot of tack to your skin. Like you've got enough to where it locks onto your foundation really well and helps prolong the wear of it. But it's not so tacky and sticky to where when you touch your fingers to your skin, it pulls it up. Like you can see your skin pulling up, but it gives you a really pretty juicy glow. It doesn't look a whole lot different on the skin than using like just skincare. I've tested this pretty thoroughly and every time I use it, my makeup lasts so well and it stays looking fresh longer. It's kind of bumped its way up to like most trusted products in my collection. So yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to get there. So foundation, this is one that is right on par with the trend, but no one's talking about it because it's from a brand that just, I don't know, it gets overlooked as well. This is the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Serum Foundation. So I have the shade Lot 03. So I have kind of mixed emotions about this because I've used this probably, 
I would say like four times total, including today. And the other times that I've worn this, I've really enjoyed it. Like it's held up really well throughout the day. It's not broken down or maybe oily or greasy. It has a really nice like dewy natural kind of finish. I would say the most you can get from this is like a very low medium coverage if you build it up, especially if you let each layer dry, like it does give you more coverage if you do that. It sits really well on pores and just areas that, you know, are really prone to movement, like your like expression lines around your mouth. Like it really sits well on those areas. But like today, it's not giving me the best experience. Granted, I do have more unevenness and more blemishes and stuff today. Like my, my skin has been very problematic. It's been very toxic. So it could be me, it could be a bad skin day. It looks kind of patchy and kind of dry in certain areas. I'm probably prepped and primed, so I'm not really sure where it's coming from because I've got serums on, like really moisturizing serums. I have a good moisturizer on. I use the Plump Right Back Serum, which is nice and juicy and hydrating. So I'm not sure why it's like clinging to dry patches and emphasizing them, but that's happening. Last night I exfoliated and this morning it was looking so like glowy and like retex like resurfaced. It was in good shape, so I'm not sure what's happening here. So I would say if you like skin tints or like sheer light coverage serum-y kind of foundations that are watery, kind of like the L'Oreal one, give this a shot because I do think it's gonna work for a lot of people and I do think it's a good product, but there's just something about my skin today it's just not jiving with it. Uh-oh, I'm getting flakes. <gasps> oh no, it's a mascara flaking, Oh. For concealer, I have the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 24 Hour 5-in-1 Concealer. Whew, that's a mouthful. That's what she said. This one has a little sponge tip applicator like the NYX Born to Glow, like the Charlotte Tilbury products. So I've only worn this like two or three times, including today. And it's not been a very momentous kind of concealer. Like it's not been one that really has made a lasting impression on me. Today has been the most impactful day because right now, it does not look good. Maybe it's the foundation. Like maybe I brought the foundation too high and the formulas are just kind of clashing because there's a lot of dryness and crepiness and just like, it looks very patchy and just very like, like spackly. I don't remember it doing that on the other days that I've used this, but I, again, I don't remember a whole lot about it when I have used it. As far as the coverage goes, I would say it's like a medium, slightly buildable coverage. Like it's not super, super full, but it does give me enough. It's just a very like, bleh kind of formula for me anyway i've tried way better so i have a liquid blush from la color so you can find this at dollar general probably family dollar just anywhere you can find la colors this is the blush up cheek and lip cream it's just a very like natural kind of peach shade very very pretty it comes in this tube and it has little holes you can, it, it looks like a lip gloss like it doesn't look like a blush at all it's a really nice like dewy kind of formula but it's not overly dewy like if you have oily skin like me it's not going to break down and just look super shiny like it has enough like stick and durability to where it's gonna last. It's not overly pigmented. So you do have to build this up if you want some color. Like it's definitely not like the rare beauty blushes where they're like, you need one dot. Like I really had to build this up and layer it a couple times to get the pigmentation, the intensity that I wanted. It's just a really effortless kind of formula to blend out. Like it just melts right in. It doesn't dry down too fast where it starts like looking cakey and patchy and stuff. Like it doesn't like start clashing with your other face products. Like I really do like this formula. And it's only like two bucks. It's like two or three dollars. For highlighter, I had the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter in the shade Flip Flop. So I don't know if this is a new thing across the board or if they're just doing it for certain products, but the Super Shock highlighters usually come in a little pot and you have to be careful with those because if you don't tighten the lid on it good enough, it will dry out. So I'm not sure what they've done differently with this, like where this is in a little magnetic compact to where it's not gonna dry out, but I do prefer this packaging more. Like it's less bulky, it's easier to travel with. Like you don't have to worry about making sure it's as tight as a freaking What's something this tight? I've been a long time fan of the Super Shock Highlighter Formula. The formula is literally like butter. It's like a cream to powder kind of formula. It hold up so well, even on oily skin. Like I've had no problems with wear. It's gonna set down and last all day long. You don't have to put a separate highlighter on top of this. This shade is one of the prettiest highlighters from the Super Shock collection, in my opinion. It just looks Oh, so gleamy. For bronzer, I had the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. I have two different shades, but the one I use today is in the shade Light, and I have Light Medium. And Light Medium is a very like warm, orangey tone, so it doesn't work the best for my skin tone, so I definitely prefer the Light shade. This one's more neutral. This is a really nice formula. Like, if you like matte finish bronzers, I think you really enjoyed this one. I'm typically one that likes more of like a satiny finish kind of bronzer. Like, I just feel like that looks more realistic, but for a matte bronzer, like the formula is killer. It's very long lasting. It is pretty waterproof. Like, it does hold up pretty well when you're swimming and stuff, but it looks like your skin. Like it doesn't look too like, oh, you got a bronzer on. And the shade selection in these bronzers is freaking amazing. Okay, so I'm very excited about this next product. Like this is one that has very quickly made its way up to like my everyday drawer, which very rare. This is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. This is just a clear little gel. Like you just, you know, use your spoolie, do the deed. And this 
is amazing. If you like that soap brow, boy brow, like laminate brow kind of look, then this will give you that without having to wet a soap bar or like use a separate setting spray. It's super quick, it's easy, it's effortless, and it gives you so much hold. You can literally push these suckers all the way up. Like these will stand up all day long. Like it will not budge. The problem that I have with most brow gels, especially ones that give you hold, like extreme hold like this, is that they feel so sticky and tight and just very like glueish. You cannot feel this in your brows at all. Like it gives you that extreme hold and that all day wear, but you can't feel it. So I have another product from LA Colors. This is the gel lip liner. I have the shade My Favorite Nude. So this is just like the ColourPop lip liners or like, you know, the kind that you sharpen, like they're really creamy, they glide, they're just super pigmented. This is all those things. Now I don't like the shade though. Like the shade, it's called a nude shade, but it's kind of like a it's like a peachy nude. Me personally, like I just don't like peachy nude lip liners or lipsticks in general on my skin tone. Like the formula itself is very, very nice. I do want to do a little like swatch test, like a little transfer test. So I've had this on my hand for probably an hour and a half or so now. So it's pretty set. So I'm gonna really put a lot of pressure into it and be aggressive. Be aggressive, be, be aggressive. I wasn't a cheerleader, sorry. So it's not really budging. Like it's, it's pretty on there. I don't think they have a lot of shades though. So I'm pretty bummed about that, but like, I would try more shades in this. Like I'm, I'm pretty confident in the formula. And then for lipstick, I have the L'Oreal Glow Paradise in the shade 150 Rose Mirage. This is very similar to the old lip balms that they had a while back. I'm gonna put a little picture up here if I can find it. And I think this is pretty much the exact same thing and just like nicer looking packaging. So this is just a very lightly tinted lip balm kind of thing. So it's not gonna give you like hours and hours of wear. Like it's it's very sheer. It feels very nice and moisturizing and just very glossy and comfortable. It's basically a lip gloss in a stick form. So yeah, if you like lip glosses and just like really moisturizing like lip balm feeling products, then I would say check this out. But for me, I mean, I prefer just using a lip gloss. So I do have some plumping lip glosses. No, I did not need a gloss because this is plenty glossy enough, but we're here. The Catrice Volumizing Extreme Lip Boosters. I have four different shades. The packaging looks kind of scary because there's a blue shade, a weird orangey kind of shade, a green shade. And it's like, oh, hot damn, that is not for me. Basically, they're just made of different ingredients. But honestly, it's probably just different like flavorings, like different like scents and stuff. So this red one, which is called the Hot Plumper, is infused with menthol and hot chili extract to instantly plump the lips. The peachy orange one, which is called the Spicy Ginger Shot, is infused with ginger extract to create voluminous lips with a hint of lemony ginger scent and a soft orange glittery shine. And then the blue one is just called the Optical Teeth Whitening Effect. And then the green one, the scary one, is called the Sour Mood Booster. And it just, it doesn't really say anything specific about like the ingredients. Like I, I guess it's just like a different scent. So these are all pretty much, uh, clear. There's a little hint of color to each one. Like the red one does have a very, very subtle like pinky redness, but it doesn't look a whole lot different than the other ones. You can wear these on top of anything and it's not going to change the color of your lipstick. But if you like a like tingly cooling sensation plumping gloss, these are for you, girl. It is super juicy and very, very glossy and just really comfortable. You definitely don't need all of these because they pretty much do the exact same thing. And like I said, they're pretty much all clear. And then last but not least, I have the setting spray. So I have the one that goes along with the primer. This is the Plump Finish with Electrolyte Setting Spray. And first off, the Mr. Punches you in the damn face. The effect. It always makes my makeup last longer. My skin looks really juicy, very hydrated, very glowy. Like the glow actually holds up throughout the day. But it's not the kind of glowy that makes my skin look oily or shiny sooner. Like I have oily skin, as I mentioned. It really sets your makeup in place so well. Also, I do want to go back to the eyeliners real quick because I actually swatched both the eyeliner shades on the back of my arm. And I've already like done a very aggressive swatch test earlier, like a little like scrub test. I even washed my hands like one or two times earlier. I don't know if this is supposed to be water proof like I'm not sure if that's in the claims but it definitely is water resistant. I'm going again and just really scrub at it and it's not smearing it's not feathering or bleeding or anything like it's that's impressive. So that is it for testing out some new drugstore slash affordable makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video then make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Here's a couple more things for you to check out next. Just venture around make yourself at home. Subscribe if you're not already and turn the notification bell on to always see my stuff. Everything I use today and everything that's on my face will be listed below in the description box and a full on breakdown and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.